you mentioned the challenges, but, you know, challenges are fun. I mean, th that's what molds us and shapes us and makes us better. And uh, so we're really invigorated uh, about, you know, where we are right now. No doubt we've got to get our farm system built to a level that is going to put us in a position uh, to be really good again. And so that that is our main focus. And um, but we're prepared for it. We're embracing it. We've got a group of people that uh, enjoy this type of process. Uh, and so it's going to be fun. How about the Royals? And the Royals have been drafting very well, but they also got some young players via trade. You go back to 2010, they acquired shortstop Alcides Escobar, outfielder Lorenzo Cain, and right-handed pitching prospect Jake Odorizzi. Well, this is this was a real funny one. This one goes twofold. Right. So, so yeah, they get Escobar, they get Lorenzo Cain, and they get Odorizzi for Zach Granke. They send Granke up to Milwaukee. They get those guys from Milwaukee. Well, then they turn around and take Odorizzi, put him with Will Myers, package that, and send him down to Tampa. Tampa sends back big game shields, and oh, just Wade Davis, who's been the probably the best reliever. Just, just a guy with 110 strikeouts out of the bullpen. That's, Absolutely. that's all. So it's really amazing, too. You know, you look at the last one, how it's taken six years to, to matriculate and become a real great deal. Nice word, uh, sir. For the Orioles. But how about this one? Sometimes you've got to make two trades to get the proper pieces. And two trades. Two trades. Drake loves that. <laughs> That's, he's going to be on two trades is going to be on his next album. <laughs> and I'm sure he's going to be wearing a James Shields jersey. Yes, he will be. Um, and, and, you know, I just think that's incredible. Sometimes that's what it takes to uh, to make that happen. And, and kudos. Kudos to, to really, you know, saying, okay, now we got these pieces for Granky. We need Escobar. He's going to be a good piece of our middle infield. Lorenzo Kane, he's got speed. He's young. Okay, cool. We'll throw him in the outfit. Odorizzi, he's good. I like what we got, but maybe we can put him... And oh, it's going to be so tall. We don't want to trade Will Myers. He's going to be such a good hitter. But we really need pitching both in the bullpen and a, a frontline starter. So we're going to take Odorizzi. We're going to take uh, Will Myers and ship him. And then you get those two guys. All right, welcome back, everybody. We're going to jump right in it because this Twitter is smoking hot tonight. I, everybody wanted pitching, so the Royals go out and get a couple oh, of pitchers. Boy. And here we go. They got two starters now on the rotation. Everybody, that's it. That's it. They got rid of the hot shot Will Myers. What yeah, do you think? Everybody in baseball loves Will Myers. Yeah. So if you're going to trade somebody, you're going to trade the number one prospect in Major League Baseball, and that is Will Myers. That's who the Royals had. Your problem here, folks, goes back to the same thing. It always goes back to its ownership. If the owner would open his pocketbook and buy a free agent pitcher who's a top-of-the-rotation guy and spends money, you wouldn't have to trade your top prospect Dayton for other Moore pitchers. told us all along this is going to this is going to happen. They sure. went out and got Santana, that's then right. they re-signed Guthrie. He said, that's it. We're going to have to trade. So, and, you know, I, I would have rather seen somebody like Hosmer go in this deal and Will Myers. It's not oh, going to sure. happen, though. Everybody no. wants Will Myers. Everybody wants Will Myers. Now, the only way this works out for the Royals, okay, is if they get into the playoffs inside of James Shields' contract, which is only two years. Yeah. So you've got to get the Royals inside the playoffs to the playoffs within the next two years you only have james shields for two years you have wade davis for five years but shields is your top line pitcher he will be on the mound opening day for the kansas city well he'll, he'll get you 220 strikeouts he'll pitch 230 innings like the right. guy is a war he, he really is i mean the royals have been trying to get this guy forever frank they right. really have i think the key guy again is going to be this wade davis see what he 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 had been a starter he relieved this past year but right. i think he's projected into the the starting rotation now. Yeah, I think so too, because you got Shields on top, you got Irvin Santana's in there. You're gonna have Wade Davis and or Jeremy Guthrie right in there as your number three starter or four starter. You have Bruce Chen. The guy who's sitting out there and you're thinking about right now is is Luke Kochaver. It's time to get rid of Luke Kochaver, eat the salary, forget about it, and just let him go on. I don't way. think there's a spot for him right now, do you? No, I don't think there's a spot because for him. Chen, unless Chen's gonna be in unless there. they move Davis to the bullpen, but the roles are loaded in the bullpen. How about this Jorge Bonifacio? Remember that name? He's supposed to be the next Will Myers, okay? This kid's only, you're, you're looking at me. He's 19 years old. I'm telling you that he's, he's, he's a right fielder. He's going to be pretty good. He's a hot shot player, but uh, going to have to wait a while right. on him. All right, well, here's, a, here's the skeptic in me, okay? If the Royals had kept <laughs> Will Myers, okay, he'd have been a bust. Now that they traded him, he's going to be a combination of Babe Ruth, Roy Hobbs, and George Brett. <laughs> <You know, laughs> and he's going to go, he, he is going to haunt. 
the Royals for the next 10 years that they trade them. That's just the Royals' luck. That's the way it's been, and I think that's what the fans are going crazy about. They don't want to trade anybody. They give up four guys for two guys, and we'll just have to see how this all works out. It's going to take some time to see how it works out. Hey, the Royals make the playoffs this season or next season. I think everybody will think, okay, all right, that's a pretty good deal. But if this kid, if they don't make the playoffs, Jack, and I'm not talking about playing 500 baseball. I don't care if you win, you go yeah. above five. You've no. got to make the playoffs, Jack. you got to make the playoffs. Well, it's been 27 years. The longest drought in Major League Baseball. Right. 30 teams. It's time for And everybody to said, well, go get some pitching. you got to right. get some pitching. Now to right. get pitching, everybody's unhappy about it. I, it, I couldn't believe Twitter tonight. Right. 95% of the people are against this trade. Right. And here's the deal with Dayton Moore. He had nothing to lose, Jack, because if he continued to lose baseball games, he's going to get fired anyway. He had to do something. So this can only work in his favor. If it works, great. If it doesn't, he was going to get fired anyway because he hadn't acquired any pitching. So to date more, this is a this is a this is a uh, you know almost well, an they're act doing of desperation. They're, it, it, so. they're they're doing they're doing something. That's all yes, you can ask right. for. I mean, I, they, they I haven't agree. done a thing. And they need pitching. So yeah. You know, Ben Zobris uh, is a player that's always appealed to us. Um, he gives you a professional at bat. Uh, obviously, with Alex Gordon's. Uh, uh, unfortunate incident uh, going on the disabled list. There was uh, more of an urgency to make a deal uh, for a position player, and you know Ben Zobris fits us extremely well. I mean, he's a he's a two-time All-Star, uh, received MVP votes in the past. He's a consistent uh, on-base uh, base guy. Uh, obviously, his versatility is is really important, especially when when Gordo uh, comes back. Well, right now, Todd, he'll play the outfield with, uh, with Gordo uh, being out, but he also has the ability to play, you know, second base and throughout the interior part of the diamond. And it gives us, uh, you know, uh, more versatility, more depth uh, as we, uh, you know, enter the uh, second half of the season here. Truthfully, we've always done everything we could to put the best team on the field. And certainly the, the, uh, the play of, of our team, and uh, the, how our players have responded certainly gives us more motivation. But, you know, we've always tried to do whatever we could uh, throughout the year and, and the deadline to make our team strong for the second half, even when we weren't competing. Uh, to win a division, we were trying to improve our team uh, for the second half. So it's important to put the yeah. best line up the field each and every night. Did it hurt a little bit to give up all that young pitching and particularly – Left-handed pitching that's fairly close, knowing what your situation will be in 16 and 17 as far as starters go? Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's never uh, easy to, you know, part with uh, young, talented players. Um, you know, but, again, if you focus on what you're giving up, uh, you'll be paralyzed uh, to acquire the, the player or players that make sense to help your 25-man roster win. And uh, But I've got great confidence in – and what we do in scouting and player development, uh, we'll continue to uh, you know, do the best work possible internationally and through the draft and, and developing players. And you know, that's, that's what uh, you know, we've always done, and uh, you know, we'll continue you know, with those processes. But uh, you know, we have certain players in our organization that we feel uh, we wouldn't move under any circumstance. Uh, going into this deadline, we've preserved, we've preserved that. Uh, so I feel very good that, uh, you know, the, the top-end talent within our farm system uh, remains. Obviously, it's a, a tough uh, trade to make. Cause, you know, Johnny's been a part of the organization a long time. Um, everyone here has great feeling for him and uh, great affection for him as a not only as a pitcher, but as a player or as a person. So it's difficult, but you know we're in a, in a situation where was, this is the best thing for our franchise. Now we got three left-handed pitchers, quality left-handed pitchers that um, we think very highly of. Um, it was tough for Kansas City to give all three up, but we finally, uh, in the end, we were able to do that. There was a lot of interest, obviously, in Johnny, and we felt that this was the uh, the best value uh, we could get for now. So. Uh, Johnny's going to a great situation there. He has people that he'll know. Um, he's got uh, a team that's got a chance to go to the World Series. And as I told him, hopefully he gets a chance to pitch in the World Series and, and then, uh, see what happens. We had been talking 
Uh, it didn't get finished till today. We talked. We're talking to two other clubs till late last night. I don't know how the information broke last night because it wasn't done, and it, uh, it had nothing really to do with uh, uh, you know anything other than the fact that we were still seeing what other deals we could uh, get done. If we hadn't done it and we didn't get the deal done, um, uh, deal done today or the next day, it would, you know, I don't know what we. Somebody would speculate something's wrong. Right. So we felt the best thing to do is go out and let them pitch. I talked to him a couple nights ago and let him know that, um, you know, where we were and, and uh, uh, that eventually something was going to happen just to kind of ease his mind a little bit. And we had a good conversation. And um, so I think he, he went into last night knowing that eventually something was going to happen, but he felt good about it. And, you know, there's always some, um, I'm sure there's some feelings when, when he leaves because he's so close to these guys, but uh, I think he's, he knows he's going in a great situation. Royals 7, Mets 2, bottom of the 12th inning. The Royals are one strike away. One ball, two strikes. Davis comes to the plate. Strike three call! It's over! They've done it. The Royals are World Series champions. The world champion Kansas City Royals. It's been 30 years. Royals fans, let's get the party started. Wow. As the players jump on top of one another, they hug one another, high fives, hoisting one another in the air. They are already putting on the world championship caps and T-shirts. What a sight. Amazing. I'm lost for words. Definitely doesn't get any better than this. That's what we set out to do, and we accomplished it. And to come out here and join us with my teammates, couldn't get any better than this. It's amazing. Yeah! It's amazing. I'm loving it. It's amazing. When you saw Hosmer sprinting home in the ninth inning on that play, what was going through your head? Oh, I'm just saying get there. Get there as soon as possible. I feel like once, if we tie the game up, there's a good chance of us winning it. So. That's what we do. We the come back kids. I was excited. And I was rushing for sure. Um, the first couple pitches, you know, I took one, and then I, uh, I was trying to uh, put it in play the second one. But you know, without the guys getting on and and, and then Dyson stealing that base, and then you know, Gordon moving them over, it's just a team effort. And uh, you know, I was able to put the ball in play, and that's what I wanted to do right there. To be able to to go through the whole year and accomplish everything that you put out there, you know, um, and uh, stay healthy and uh, you know, get to this point, it's like. It's unbelievable. It's an unbelievable, unbelievable feeling. I don't know any of that words to describe, but that was an uh, incredible season, incredible finish. You know, it was exactly what we set out to do. And just tons of credit to everybody on this team. The Kansas City Royals World Champions! It's unbelievable, you know. It's just what happened with all last year, the whole entire ride. You just knew that the story was too good to be true, and you knew it wouldn't end like that. And, just to bounce back, to have another opportunity to have the, the same core group of guys be here and just have another shot at a world championship man, meant the world to us, and we surely did make the most out of it. You just got to take chances, you know. That's our motto as a team. We're aggressive, and um, knowing Familia is on the mound, knowing how good his stuff is, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's an opportunity for us to take a chance. So I just kept shuffling along with David, and uh, as soon as he was about to throw it, I just said, you know, we got to go for it right here. and. Um, it ended up working out for us, and I'm glad it did, because if it wouldn't have worked out, I don't know what would have happened. It's unbelievable. I never think I'm going to win the MVP, and look what happened. I win the MVP this year, so I'm so happy, and thank you, God, for everything. I mean, I've been preparing for a long, long time for this moment, um, trying to get here, and uh, I just have to give praise and glory to the Lord for, for allowing me to experience it. I mean, it's not the first man off the bench or the first man to the plate. I mean, this is a 25-plus team, and... I mean, what, you know, five games into this, five to be four, five to be four. I mean, what you saw tonight was, wasn't a surprise. You know, finalization of, of a full season, and um, there's no more battles to win. Uh, we can finally enjoy it and relax and, and, not, and not have anything else on our plate. So it feels good to just relax, take your cleats off, and know you're not going to put them on for a while again. Unbelievable. Uh, that 14th inning, scoring five runs like that, and then... You know, going out to the field and just being in left field, looking at all the fans, all the joy, the smiles, and um, all the things that they've been through also, uh, just to share it with them in that 
that 14th inning with Wade on the mound, it was uh, pretty special. Now we are, uh, this is all about right here. Okay. This is that was my dream <laughs> came true right now. We're relentless finding ways to uh, to, to score runs, to uh, keep the line moving, and uh, and that's something special that this team has, and uh, it showed uh, throughout the, the whole season and the postseason as well. To watch these kids grow up from A ball to double A AA to triple A, get to the big leagues, go through their struggles, have their success go through their struggles and develop to the point where they're world champions is extremely satisfying.